Hi everybody, welcome back to Goodnight Lighthouse. I'm Miss Dorothy and I'm here to read you a bedtime story. I have got a great book for you tonight. Number one, it's great because it came from a friend. I told you, I love when you tell me what book you want me to read. And you can do that. Just click below, send Miss Dorothy a message about what book you want to hear, and I'll go find it and I'll come back and read it for you. But this book came from a friend of mine. Her name is Natalie. Natalie loves this book. I think because how silly it is. Now, Miss Dorothy's going to have to work really, really hard to read this book. You know why? Because this book is about a little French snail. Now, France is a very far away place. And they talk a little different there. So Miss Dorothy had to figure out how to say some French words to read this book to you. But it's a lot of fun. And I really, really like this little guy. His name is Escargot. Cargo, that's his name. He's a little snail and he has a story to tell you and you are just going to love it. In fact, we're going to go on an adventure with Escargo through this book on the way to a big salad that he wants to share with us. This is going to be fun. In fact, it's going to be magnifique. That's what they say in France when things are really, really great. And Miss Dorothy has to learn how to say these French words. So I can read this book to you. This is going to be a fun book. I need you to sit up and listen up. We've got to get into this book. Are you ready? Good, because here we go. Bonjour! I see you are staring at me. I don't mind. My name is Ascargot, and I am such a beautiful French snail that everybody stares at me. There's that little snail and his name is Escargot. Right now, I am traveling to the salad at the end of this book. It is a beautiful salad with croutons and a light vinaigrette. You should come. I just need a little push to help me start. He wants us to help push him up onto the table because he's headed for the salad. While we are traveling, we can talk. Tell me, what do you think is my most beautiful part? My shell, my neck, my tentacles? Ooh la la, it's so hard to choose. That is because all of escargot is magnifique. You can kiss me if you want. Let's talk about our favorite animals. Is yours the dog, the cat, the platypus, the willy beast? The lemur, the hippopotamus, or the snail? Wait, before you answer, I must tell you something sad. So sad, I might cry. Will you stroke my shell just until I feel better? Okay, now I will tell you the very sad thing. Nobody ever says their favorite animal is the snail. Poor Escargot. He wants to be somebody's favorite animal, but most people don't pick a snail for their favorite animal. Perhaps you think, snails are slimy, escargot, you are too slimy to be my favorite animal. Au contraire. The trails I make as I travel to the salad are shimmery trails of, what would you call it, not slime, more like shimmery trails of shimmery stuff. Snails leave a very slimy trail behind, but Escargot doesn't think it's slimy. He thinks it's shimmery. But enough about me. Do you also make a shimmery trail? What is your favorite kind of salad? You look like the kind of intelligent person who enjoys a salad with croutons and a light vinaigrette and absolutely no carrots. The kind of person who might say, my favorite animal is a snail. Perhaps you think, snails are shy, escargot. You are too shy to be my favorite animal. Au contraire, I am quite fierce. This is the face I make to scare a lion or a wild boar or a carrot that sneaks into my salad. Can you also make a fierce face to scare away the carrot? Maybe we should roar at it too. <gasps> that was a very fierce face. 
and a very loud roar. I think we scared Escargot. He went back into his shell. Do you want me to come out? Really? Then you must say, Come out, Escargot! Come out, and I promise I will never put a carrot in your salad. Come out, and I will kiss you. Here I am. Don't forget my kiss. I kiss you back. Mwah! Am I your favorite animal yet? Escargot's working very hard to get us to want him to be our favorite animal. Perhaps you think snails are slow. Escargot, you are too slow to be my favorite animal. Ah, contraire. I just don't like to hurry. A French snail likes to relax before enjoying salad with a few croutons and a light vinaigrette. But if I wanted to, I could run faster than the cheetah. I don't know about that. Snails are pretty slow. You don't believe me? I will race you to the salad at the end of the book. Whoever gets there first will be the fantastically fast champion of the world and also your favorite animal. On your mark. Get set. Go, says Escargot, who is racing us to the salad. Do you see how fast I am? I am like the wind itself. I just need to rest for one second. Can you blow on me to cool me off? Okay, I am ready now for the final sprint. I win! Oh, you are here too. A tie! We are both the champions. We are both magnifiques. Let us celebrate by eating a salad with a few croutons and a light vinaigrette. Bon appetit! <gasps> but this is not the right salad. The salad has a few croutons and a light vinaigrette. And carrots! Escargot does not like carrots. Escargot does not eat carrots. Escargot has never eaten a carrot. Escargot will now make a fierce face at the carrot. The carrot is now running away. Perhaps you would like to eat the carrot. Go ahead, try it. I will make a deal. If you try it, I will try it too. On the count of three, we will take a very, 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 very small bite of the carrot. One, two, three. The carrot was actually delicious. So delicious that I might have forgotten to share. You probably won't choose me as your favorite animal now. You will choose instead the baboon or the koala or the earwig. Poor Escargot. But that is okay. C'est la vie. I will tell you a secret. You are very beautiful. Even if you don't make a shimmery trail, you are very fast. Almost as fast as Escargot. And you can make a very fierce face. Don't show me. I remember. You are magnifique. In fact, you are my favorite animal. And so, I kiss you. Mwah. Wow, that was a fun book. Oh, I really, really like this little snail. I really like how much he wanted us to like him. How much he wanted us, him to be our favorite animal. And it was kind of fun, fun talking like I had a French accent. That was kind of fun. I like escargot. Thank you, Natalie, for wanting us to read this book because I think everybody really enjoyed it. I hope you did. And remember, I can read your book too. You just have to send me a message and let me know what book you want Miss Dorothy to read and I'll be happy to read it. And I'm very thankful that Natalie had us read that book. All right, but now it's time for my little snails to crawl off into bed. Not like a slow little snail, like a fast little snail. I need you to get into bed, get under those covers, get cuddled up, covered up, and give mom and dad lots of hugs and kisses. But before we go off to sleep, I think we should say a little prayer, just thanking God for this beautiful day and for the beautiful animals in the world like the little snails. I know we have lots of pets and animals that we love and we should be thankful that God created them for us. So let's pray together. Will you do that with Miss Dorothy? Fold your hands and close your eyes. Dear God, 
Thank you so much for this wonderful day. Thank you that my friends came back to hear another story. Thank you for the animals that you gave us. Thank you for the snails and the spiders and the dogs and the cats and all the ladybugs and birds and bees, all the animals that are in this world for such special reasons. Thank you so much for creating all of them for us. Now, please watch over my friends as they sleep. Help them to get a good night's sleep so they can have a great day tomorrow. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, little snail, off to bed for you. Time for you to get some sleep. You've got a big day ahead of you tomorrow filled with lots of fun. And I want you to be all rested up for it. And I want you to come back and see Miss Dorothy. I'm going to be sitting in this red chair waiting to read a book to you. And I hope you'll tell me what book you want me to read. But even if you don't, come back and see Miss Dorothy because I can't wait to see you again and can't wait to read you another story. Until then... Bye.